Hello everyone. Today, we're exploring the medication known as Unison. As always, this discussion is for educational purposes. If you have health-related questions or concerns, it's essential to consult a medical professional. Description Unison is a combination of two penicillin antibiotics, ampicillin and sylbactam, that work together to combat bacteria. This medication is primarily used to treat a wide variety of infections caused by bacteria. While it has several applications, there might be other purposes for which Unison is prescribed that are not listed in standard medication guides. Side Effects Unison, like all medications, can cause side effects. Some of the severe side effects include Allergic reactions such as hives, difficulty breathing, swelling in the face or throat, or severe skin reactions. Serious stomach pain, bloody or watery diarrhea, even months after the last dose. Thrush, white patches inside the mouth or throat. Heart problems like fast heartbeats, chest pain, pain spreading to the jaw or shoulder, nausea, and sweating. Liver issues such as nausea, upper stomach pain, itching, loss of appetite, dark urine, clay-colored stools, and jaundice. Signs of new infections like fever, headache, tiredness, ear pain, eye pain, cough, skin rash, joint pain, neck or back pain, diarrhea, and painful urination. Common side effects may include diarrhea, skin rash, a swollen or hairy tongue, vaginal itching or discharge, and pain at the injection site. It's crucial to consult your doctor if you experience any unusual symptoms and report any side effects to the FDA. Warnings Individuals should not use Unison if they have had a severe allergic reaction to any type of penicillin or cephalosporin antibiotic or if they have experienced liver problems while using Unison. Before taking this medicine before starting Unison, inform your doctor if you are allergic to ampicillin or sylbactam. Also, let your doctor know if you've had a severe allergic reaction to any type of penicillin or cephalosporin antibiotic, liver problems, hepatitis or jaundice, while using Unison, liver disease, mononucleosis, often called mono, kidney disease, any medication allergies, or other allergies. If you are pregnant, planning to become pregnant, or breastfeeding, it's essential to discuss with your healthcare provider. This medication should not be given to children without proper medical advice. Dosage Unison is administered either as an injection into a muscle or as an infusion into a vein. A healthcare provider will typically administer the first dose and may instruct patients on how to use the medication independently. It's crucial to follow all directions on the prescription label and use the medicine as directed. The medicine needs to be mixed with a liquid, diluent, before use. After mixing, it must be used within a specific time frame, depending on the diluent and storage conditions. Always ensure you're taking the correct dose and never alter your dosage without consulting your healthcare provider. Interactions Unison can interact with other medications. It's vital to inform your doctor about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you're currently taking. Some known interactions include allopurinol and probenicid, but there might be others not listed. Avoid. While on unison, be cautious as antibiotic medicines can cause diarrhea, which might be a sign of a new infection. If you experience watery or bloody diarrhea, consult your doctor before using any anti-diarrhea medicine. FAQ. Many might wonder about the age restrictions for unison. It's essential to note that this medication should not be given to children without proper medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any specific queries related to this medication. Closing That concludes our overview of Unison. Remember, this information is for educational purposes and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for tuning in.